guys, welcome to this week's WTF. We are playing with a rotating makeup brush, which does kind of make you go, what in the, uh, you know? So uh, this guy right here is new at Sephora. This is the Blend Smart Makeup Brush System. You get a foundation brush and the brush spinner itself when you purchase the starter kit. So you get these two guys and a battery, which um, I just have to say the first thing I noticed is that battery is something that you'll have to order online. So it's not like a double A or triple A or something you would get down the street at CVS. I don't know, this feels like a power tool for your face. It could be really awesome, it could be really awful. That is what we are here to find out. You turn the sucker on, let's just buff that makeup in. Um, so <laughs> this guy right here is $69. You get the handle and the brush head, and then they do sell a powder brush and a blush brush that are $26 a piece separately. You can order these on their website, or you can order this from Sephora. You guys have been tweeting me pictures of this for a couple months now, and I finally pulled the trigger and I was like, yes, let's buff our foundation in with a rotating power tool, essentially. So also the fibers on here are synthetic. It is an antibacterial blend. At least they say it's not going to grab onto a lot of bacteria. It's really easy to put this together. Oh, it says what battery it is. It says a CR123A lithium battery. I have no idea what that is or where you would get it, but all right, let me actually get to applying makeup because I clearly have none on right now and I'm curious to see the kind of coverage I can get out of this. They do say to use less makeup and that is something really incredible about this item is you can dot on your foundation, you're gonna use less product, it's gonna blend better, give you better coverage. It's noisy, that's the other thing. Kinda sounds like an electric toothbrush or something else. Just saying. I am all set to go in. So something that they show you in the instructional video online is you don't want to take the foundation off of the back of your hand with the brush. You actually want to kind of dot foundation on your face and then go in and blend. So I have my foundation all mixed here on my palette as I normally do. And I am using my very favorite drugstore foundation, the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1. So I'm going to grab with my fingertips just a little bit of foundation and dot the foundation on. This just feels really weird, like very extreme. Oh my god, am I at the dentist right now? That's what it's like reminding me of, the noise when it's actually on your face. If you guys can see this or not but I don't feel like it's blending that good oh god oh don't do that wow I just got it in my eye okay so make sure that you're not going near your eye because that felt really crazy great now I feel like I have foundation on my contact lens Also be careful because it's kind of making my eyebrows a little crazy. I like to do my eyebrows usually before foundation, but with this one I probably should have waited until after because it, do we, do we see what's happening? Um, I don't really like that. I don't like that. Immediate thoughts, that was way too much work and I feel like it looks a little bit blotchy. So I recently did an Artiste WTF and some of the brushes I absolutely swear by. They even made it in my most recent favorites because I've been using them every single day. I'll link that video below as well. Some of them didn't work out, some of them did. This one right here, the Oval 7, is fabulous for foundation. I've been using it every single day. And I just wanna show you on the other half of my face, and I wasn't planning on doing this, but I'm just gonna do it because I don't think this blended very well. All right, I'm gonna grab like a tap of foundation from my little palette here and look at the coverage that it's giving me compared. Look at that.
So that took all of like two seconds and I feel like this is way more blended. See how this is like blotchy right here? Okay, so first impression, this brush is not dense enough. It is not firm enough. And when it rotates, like if it was this dense and this packed, I can see that working out really, really well, but it's not. So it kind of just flails the foundation everywhere and moves things and doesn't load it up the way that I would like it to. I still have two other brush heads to try out. So we are going to, of course, give those a good go as well but I'm gonna continue blending in my foundation just with my Artiste brush because I got places to go and I want everything to look really blended. That is kind of disappointing, $69. This one right here is 60 bucks, which is still crazy expensive, um, but that's for $69, I think that is horrible. makeup is on and I do want to add a little bit of powder. I did bake underneath my eyes, but I have zero powder on my face whatsoever. So we are going to take one of my favorites. This is from Laura Mercier. It is a translucent powder. And on the Blend Smart website, they do show you that you can actually go in to a powder foundation, a pressed powder, or a loose powder. You're basically going to do the same thing each time. Take the powder with the brush off. Otherwise, I can imagine that would be a really big mess. So I'm gonna take my foundation brush head off. I'm going to place the powder brush, which looks very similar to the blush brush, but it is a flat top. So that's how you can tell the difference because the brushes themselves are not marked. So keep that in mind, but there's only three of them. So I don't think it's that confusing. I am going to tap a little bit of the powder into my lid. And with the brush off, I'm going to load up my uh, powder brush. Then I'm going to turn it on. <laughs> and I'm going to kind of dot and dab. That's what they show in the video. And then go around. That's actually nice. Again, be careful of the eyebrows. I'm gonna have to go back in and, oh, that noise, right? Ooh. I'm gonna have to go back in and fix this eyebrow. Do we see, like this is the side of my face over here that I used the Artiste brush. This is the side of my face that I used the Blend Smart and it really messed up my eyebrows, which easy fix is do your brows after the foundation, but I'm noticing with the powder, you would kind of have the same issue. So that is a drawback. I'm grabbing a little bit more powder. Another drawback is turning it on and off to grab a little bit more is a little bit, it's just like an extra step. I kind of feel like I already have so many steps, like how many more steps do I need? I'm um, gonna turn this back on. Pat, 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 pat. Oh, it's grabbing some of my hair. For powder, I think this is giving me a really beautiful finish, but I don't know that I would spend $69 for the handle essentially if I don't like the foundation brush head just to then spend $26 on the powder brush. Do you know what I mean? I wish they sold this guy separately um, because that is, I mean, that gave me a really beautiful finish. I do like it. I don't know that it's that different than you know, pressing powder in with my beauty blender of Lure Puff or just your typical kind of brush, but um, it does look nice. So I wanna say something positive, it does look nice. I'm going to swap out the brush head for the blush brush, which this actually terrifies me. 
um, I could end up ruining my whole makeup look and looking like a clown, but you know, if that's the case, we'll fix it and blend and whatever. But I'm gonna go in with Max Melba. This is a gorgeous blush that I recently purchased. And I'm going to pat a little bit of the product. Make sure I get a little of the excess off. Turn this sucker on and hit the apples of my cheeks. That's actually doing a really good job. Okay, survey says I love it for the powder and blush. Do not like it for foundation. I'm actually gonna try it with bronzer too because this worked out so well. I'm gonna go back to the powder brush. I'm gonna grab my Too Faced Sweet Tea Bronzer, load up the brush, and start at the hairline. All right, this is like gorgeous for powders. Look at that. That is really beautiful. I bet it'd be great for um, powder foundation too, because it's just blending so beautifully. Oh, I'm happy I like something. I was really concerned that I was just not gonna like this at all. Gotta be careful because your hair wants to get involved in the application. Wow. I'm really impressed with how the powder applied and this is 100% top shelf. It is staying right here. The foundation attachment though, I don't even really know what to do with this because I didn't even kind of like it. I just didn't like it altogether. I have said this five times already, but I really feel like this needs to be more densely packed. It needs to be more like this right here. Even this guy from Makeup Geek, I love this. This is the foundation stippling brush. If it was more densely packed, I think this would be much better and actually I think it would be awesome. So I do hope that they come out with more brush head attachments. These are $26, that is up there in price, but you know, it's not super, super crazy. I do think it's crazy that you have to purchase you know, these two together for 69 and then purchase the others for $26. I really think they need to sell this handle individually because that is what I recommend you guys going and get. So I'm kind of torn on saying, yeah, this is so awesome because you're gonna have to kind of buy a crappier product to get to the good one. You know what I'm saying? So I don't like that, but I already purchased it. It did work well for powder. I am really, really pleased with how well it blended my bronzer. I feel like my bronzer never looks this good. So I am really blown away by that. Um, I do think it's great for blush. I will continue trying this with different things, meaning I will try this with powder foundation, cream blush. I'll see how much use I can get out of this tool because it's really a neat idea. It's something very different. And you guys know, I love that. I love trying everything that is weird. That's kind of, you know, what WTF is all about, aside from the crazy price tag, you know, shock value that you have going alongside with it. So um, this was an interesting first try of these brushes. There's really not much of a check-in I can do later on throughout the day because my makeup is just gonna stay looking like my makeup and it has nothing to do with the brushes if it wears down or whatever. So let me know if you have tried this brush out and what you think. If you've tried different foundation formulas and you got the brush head for the foundation to work better because maybe it is that I was using a very full coverage foundation. I will try it out with a BB cream and a tinted moisturizer, which on one hand, I think it will blend in really beautifully. You could just use your hands because something that blends in quickly um, you don't need a fancy, expensive tool to blend it. You get what I'm saying? Uh, so you have that. Um, those are all of my thoughts wrapped around this product. But I had fun with it. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope you are having a wonderful day. And I will see you in my next video. Mwah.